Hey, what's up? It's KB here. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys what's new in Windows 11 build 22449.1000. So this is a new build only available to Windows 11 dev channels. And this update is the one that we have been waiting for a very long time for dev channels. And yeah, now on, we're going to get the big updates so finally they are separating the dev channel and beta channel and starting from this build and next build we can expect new features update on dev channel faster so that's the great news and that's the big update actually even though this build won't contain the big big updates big new features but still dev channel is gonna get big updates faster now so that's that now let's get into what's new in this build so first of all let me show you uh, that i'm using the this build all right and after you get this build you won't be able to switch to the dev channel so if you haven't updated your windows 11 yet to the latest dev build then i suggest you guys to switch to the beta if you're still thinking about switching to the beta because after this, you'll have to do the clean install to install a beta channel or final build of Windows 11. Once you go with this update, you can't go back. You'll have to do the clean install to get back to the normal Windows 11. So you can see by yourself that we don't have any option to choose here. We can't switch in between channels now. I'm stuck. Hey. <laughs> so yeah that's that so i will put link in the description for the blog post for this build you can go here and read all the new changes and all the new features so because most of the time i just talk i don't show you guys much features but in this build uh, there is only one big feature actually two that i want to show you guys uh, the first one is single ring animation so you know uh, starting from the windows 10 we had that dot uh loading circle dot dot dots but it was also a ring but now it will be a single ring just like this you can see in example picture here but i can show you here after this update uh that's how the new loading screen will look when you open your windows 11 it's not completely applied yet you will see it in boot screen but when you log in you won't see it so it's not fully implemented yet but this is the new big feature all right so i'm gonna click on uh, movies and tv and this is the thing i'm talking about there will be a one single circle which will rotate so yeah they are changing the loading uh, animation too and uh, next one we have better or better organized notifications here what did no one notice that look at that it says cortana is now configured to run in background so i believe cortana is back oh no <laughs> yeah i need to find it so new feature cortana yeah cortana is there Wow, welcome back Cortana. So new feature, they, they did not um, <laughs> mention this, but we have the Cortana. I never seen this on uh, previous builds. For some reason, now the Cortana is pre-installed. Can I uninstall this? All right, guys, um, give me a second. Hey, it's me, the future KB. I'm editing the video. While I was editing, I did some research and uh, I found out that the Cortana was already there even in previous build. So it was just disabled or was not set for startup launch. So it was kind of a disabled inside previous builds. But now it will set itself to launch at startup. So that's how I got the notification and uh, I believe the Cortana is back. Yeah, simple words. No one could see the Cortana in previous build. Now everyone will see the Cortana. So yeah, it's kind of a Cortana is back. So we need to make a movie on Cortana, the return or something. I don't know. That's it.
uh, continue to the video. Wow, the Cortana is here and we can't uninstall it. So I was about to make a video on what's missing in Windows 11. Uh, I have been saying that from a very long time now, but uh, tomorrow, sure. But uh, one of the feature is back now, which shouldn't be back. But yeah, well, the Cortana is back, boys. <laughs> I, I don't think anyone noticed that, oh no, or it's only me, who knows. So you get the point. The new feature, notifications. If you get multiple uh, notifications, you will see a app uh, name at the top and then uh, the notification itself and then another app name and notifications. So it will be easier to see your notifications. And another feature, whenever you will get a notification, uh, it will have a transparent background acrylic um, design so you know when we right click on the desktop there is a little bit of transparency going on so you can see a little, little tiny tiny uh, background i mean you know little bit of transparency so when you get a notification it will be that acrylic design that's what they say that's it I mean, there are other things too, but as I said, I will put link in the description for this blog post. If there is something important you need to know, then you should read it here. For the noticeable features, that's it. So yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. And if you are using a dev channel, just like me, then let me know if you see the Cortana or not. In my case, Cortana is back. That's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.